Hey y'all, let's take a look at a, a different type of uniform motion pro... Oh, no, no, that's wrong. Not problem. Puzzle. Puzzle. Puzzles. Okay, there we go. That's why it sounds much better. This type is basically... Well, we the ones we've done before are, you know, pretty much um, equal distances and so on, which we add, you know, we make an equation that has one distance equals another distance. We've done variations of that, but here's another type that's called d sub one plus k equals d sub two, which means basically one distance is not quite as long as another distance, but we have how far it is, so we can make another equation that, you know, I guess uh, goes along with that. So let's look at an example. Frodo ran away <clears throat> at 9 a.m. at 50 miles an hour. Okay, well, let's actually go ahead and write that since that's one equation. So the rate of Frodo is 50. Gollum began to chase him at 1 p.m. at 60 miles an hour. So the rate of Gollum is 60. That's a G, not a 6. Okay, what time was it when Gollum got within 40 miles of blah, blah, blah? Okay, anyway. Um, well, let's do the time one first to figure that one out. He runs away at 9, 9 a.m. Gollum chases him at 1 p.m. Okay, so in other words, hit the visualize. Frodo runs at 9, 9 a.m. He's going, he's going. He's going four hours, then finally Gollum starts to chase him at 1 p.m. We don't know what the times are that they ran because they say what time is it. So we don't know either one of these times how long they ran. <clears throat> what we do know is that Gollum got within 40 miles. That means kind of, in our, for our purposes, the, the time stops for the equation. So what we can say is the time of Gollum well, you know what, say this. The, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do kind of time of Gollum. We could do either one, time of Gollum or time of Frodo. But the time of Gollum is the time of Frodo minus four, right? So this Frodo ran longer. So the time of Gollum is the time of Frodo minus four because 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. is four hours, all right? Obviously, we are missing the distance uh, formula <coughs> equation here. So, um, Let's actually draw this. So here's Frodo, he's running, okay? He runs, he runs, he runs, and there you go. Okay, here's Gollum, and of course, you just assume if they don't write anything different, that Gollum is doing, you know, he's starting from the same place and chasing him or whatever. The question is, what time was it when Gollum got within 40 miles of Frodo? In other words, here is our equation. <clears throat> right? What time was it when Gollum got right there, which is within 40 miles of Frodo? So you can look at this distance and go, okay, well, the distance of Frodo is the same thing as the distance of Gollum plus 40. Of course, we don't use Ds. Let's convert this. So the rate of Frodo, the time of Frodo equals, that's a bad for that there, let's see. Okay. <clears throat> the rate of Gollum, time of Gollum plus 40, and there's our equations. Okay, let's plop them in here, then let's use this one as our big one. The rate of Frodo is 50. Time of Frodo, mm -hmm, we don't know yet. All right, rate of Gollum is 60. Time of Gollum is this. Now, since this is the T sub F, that means we have a good equation. That's all we need. Don't forget your plus 40 at the very end here. Okay, so we have 50 time of Frodo equals 60 time of Frodo minus 4 times 60 plus 40. All right, this goes over here, becomes negative 10 time of Frodo equals negative uh, 240 plus 40 is negative 200. And the time of Frodo is equal to 20. Now, uh, what time was it when Gollum blah, blah? Well, we need to start at 9 a.m. So you run, you start at 9 a.m., you run for 20 hours. If it's 24 hours, we'll be back to 9 a.m., but it's four fewer hours, so it's gonna be 5 a.m. Let's just check this just to make sure. Um, if Frodo goes 20, uh, uh, 20 hours and he's going 50 miles an hour, 20 times 50 means he goes 1,000 miles. All right, if Gollum starts at 1 p.m., He's four hours, uh, fewer hours than Frodo, which means this is going to be 16. 16 times 60 is 960. Well, you might go, oh no, that's not the same. That's okay. It says within 40 miles. So that's all we care about. So we proved that we're right on that one. So, all right, let's try one more. When Ed started chasing Sue, she was already seven miles out of Asheville. 
If Ed ran six miles an hour and Sue ran 2.5 miles an hour, how long did it take Ed to catch up to Sue? All right, so let's draw this. Ed starts chasing Sue. Well, first off, Sue is over here. She's going here, she's going like this, okay? Ed is seven miles back. So here's Ed, all right? And eventually he runs and he runs and he runs and he runs and then he catches Sue, all right? Well, she's already seven miles out of Asheville. So this is the distance between Ed and Sue, okay? So how would you write that as an equation, Ed's distance as opposed to Sue's distance? Ed's distance, or let's say the distance of Ed, would be the distance of Sue plus 7, right? That's our equation. So let's go ahead and write that as a uh, R and a T. So distance of Ed, that's the rate of Ed, time of Ed, is equal to the distance of Sue plus 7, right? Ed runs 6 miles an hour. There you go. So the rate of Ed is 6. The rate of Sue is 2.5. Now, here's the question. There's no time given. Look at this. When Ed started chasing him, she was blah, blah, blah. Ed ran blah, blah, how long did it take? I mean, there isn't any time given at all. There's a, oh, Ed started at 10 a.m. and Sue started at 4.14 p.m. And I, no, there isn't anything given. So what you have to assume is that, I don't know, Sue has very good vision. She looks back, oh, seven miles back, and she sees Ed chasing her. Go. They go, and they start at the same time. We don't know how long they went, but we're going to assume for, the case, uh, for this uh, case that the times are the same. So the time of Ed is the same thing as the time of Sue. And there you go. All right, well, let's pop it in here. The rate of Ed is six. Time of Ed, don't know. Rate of Sue, 2.5. Time of Sue, don't know. We can't write t sub s though, can we? Because that won't help us solve the equation. But since it's the same as t sub e, we can go yink, there we go, plus seven. All right, we'll put this over here. That gives us 3.5 time of ed equals seven, and then the time of ed is seven divided by 3.5, which is just two. And there we go, two hours. Let's just test it. Um, ed runs six miles an hour for two hours. That means he goes 12 miles, right? Sue is already seven miles. She runs two and a half miles per hour for two hours. Two and a half times two is five. And there is the same as that. So we got it. Okay. All right. Give your practice problem a whirl. Draw a picture if you need to. It's very helpful. Okay. All right. Pause it and try. Okay. Well, uh, let's do here. What Zane, Trisha, blah, blah, blah. What time was it when Trisha got within 20 kilometers of Zane. So in other words, here's Trisha, here's Zane. Let's just say they're the same thing. Here's Trisha and Zane is right there. When Trisha got within 20 kilometers of Zane. So here, Zane has gone farther. So his distance is this. There's the 20. Okay. So in other words, Zane's distance is 20. I don't care what it is. 20 plus Trisha's. So the distance of Zane is the distance of Trish plus 20. So let's write that as R's and T's. So uh, the R sub Z, T sub Z equals R sub T, T sub T plus 20, equation number one. Zane starts at 30 kilometers per hour, fine. So the rate of Zane is 30. Trisha is 40 kilometers per hour. So the rate of Trisha is 40. Now, how long did they go? We don't know. It just tells us when they started. So there's no way of saying, oh, the time of Zane or the time of Trisha is anything. All we know is that the time of Zane is two more than the time of Trish. So the time of Zane equals two more than the time of Trish. Now you might have put T sub T plus two, fine, whatever. Okay. The rate of Zane is 30. <clears throat> time of Zane, look, we can put 2 plus T sub T. Let's do it. 2 plus T sub T. That equals R sub T, and the rate of Tricia was 40, and uh, time of Tricia, we don't know, 
and then plus 20. Well, we got it. We got T sub T's. That's all we got. So 60 here plus 30 T sub T equals 40 T sub T plus 20. And we're going to yoink that over. It gives us negative 10 T sub T. And we'll yoink that over. 20 minus 60 is negative 40. So the time of Trisha, and of course, uh, let's see here. That's going to be 4. So Trisha goes <coughs> for 4 hours. So if she goes from 7 a.m., uh, then that means the time will be 11 a.m. So that's our answer. Let's double check just to make sure. If Trisha goes four hours and she goes 40 uh, kilometers per hour, that means the rate, uh, excuse me, 40 per hour for four hours, that means she goes 160 miles or kilometers or whatever. If Zane starts at 5 a.m., he must go two more hours. So he goes six hours at 30 miles an hour. So six times 30 is 180. Well, there's a 20 mile or kilometer difference. So that's exactly what they want to know. So we give it to them. Okay. All right. See you guys next time. Have a great day. Thank you.